All right, this is our first limiting, limiting reactant problem in chemistry. And let's reread and review the problem that we're going to, what we're at being asked. First, it says if there are 10 grams of silver and five grams of selenium. And so my first clue that this is a limiting reactant problem is going to be two amounts of reactants, since silver and selenium are both reactants. And anytime you get two amounts of reactants, it is a limiting reactant problem, um, and we want to learn to recognize them. And then the question is, how many grams of silver selenide can be produced? We've got our balanced reaction. Good, it is balanced. And we're going to go through the entire process step by step this time. And eventually, we're just going to give you this first part and expect you to do all this work. So we're not there yet. We're going to step by step you through it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to find how many grams of silver selenide can be produced if silver is the limiting reactant. This is going to be a GMMG. We have grams of silver. We're going to be ending with grams of silver selenide. Start with our grams. Uh, I'm going to have to look this up. Let's see. Silver is 107.9 from our periodic stable. Grams silver for one mole. In two moles of silver reacted, we will get one mole of silver selenide. And then our last step is going to be uh, a molar mass to get back to grams. Oops, no good, I'm still on the page. Grams of silver selenide. So uh, I need my molar mass again. Let's see, selenium 78.96 uh, plus uh, 107.9 plus 107.9 for two silvers. Looks like 294.76. That's going to be grams of silver selenide per one mole of silver selenide. Does everything look right there? My units are canceling. I think everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and calculate the answer. Oh, and uh, remember, I do sometimes, when there's two decimal places, I, I sometimes do keep five sig figs for these. Um, if you keep four, that's fine. Please do not round to the nearest gram, though. Uh, that, will, that will sometimes mean that you miss the answer in the online homework. All right, let's see what we got here. We got 10 grams. We got uh, divided by 107.9 divided by two and times 294.76. I get 13.7, come on, there we go, 13.7 grams of silver selenide. All right, we're not done. That was one of them. We still have to ask the question, how many grams of silver selenide can be produced if selenium is the limiting reactant? Same type of setup. We have 5 grams of selenium, 5.00 grams. GMMG, selenium, 78.96. Grams of selenium for one mole. And then we know that it's a one mole to one mole ratio there. And we know that the molar mass here is the same.
and now we can multiply this across as well. We start with five grams, divide by 78.96, one to one, we don't have to do these parts, times 294.76. This time I get 18.7 grams. And we know that we cannot make both of these numbers of grams. That, uh, and that's one of the tricky things about this. We never add up to get the number of grams total. What we do is we take the smaller amount. It is always the smaller amount that we can actually make. And that means that silver is our limiting reactant. Silver is our limiting reactant. And let's go to the next page. It says, how many grams of silver selenide can actually be produced? And we know that the answer to that is uh, from the previous slide, 13.7 grams, because it's the smaller amount. Thirteen point seven grams of silver selenide. What is the limiting reactant? Silver is limiting reactant. And now, how much of the excess reactant is left over? Okay, so just like last time when we talked about uh, making sandwiches, you start with your limiting reactant. which is our 10.0 grams of silver. And now we're going to go set up a GMMG, a picket fence, that goes over to grams of selenium. Get on the page there. Grams of selenium. And because uh, this grams of selenium is going to be the grams of selenium reacted away. because five grams of selenium, not all of it was reacted. If all of it was reacted, we would make more uh, silver selenide than is possible. So we've already run out of um, silver when we get to 13.7 grams here. We can't make all this. All right, so we got 10 grams of silver. We know the molar mass of silver from our previous calculations, 107.9. We know the mole ratio, two moles of silver for every one mole of selenium. Of selenium. And we know the molar mass of selenium, it is 78.96. Now, when I get this grams of selenium over here, it had better be less than five. Because if we've done all our other calculations correct, then it has to be less than five because Less than five has to be reacted away if this is the excess reactant. So, fingers crossed, 10 divided by 107.9 divided by two times 78.96. And I get 3.66, there's a little point in there, 3.66. grams of selenium reacted away. Shoo! All right, but we're not done yet. How much of the excess reactant is left over? Well, we know that we started with 
five grams of selenium. That's what we used to be down here. We react it away. 3.66 grams of selenium. And when we subtract them, we get what's left over. And we start with five. We divide by three points, or we divide five minus 3.66. I get 1.34. Grams of selenium left over. That is an integral part of this answer. We know that silver is the limiting reactant. We know that 13.7 grams of silver selenide can be produced. And this is a long problem. There are a number of these on the homework. They all function exactly the same way. When you do a problem of this sort, remember the problem has two amounts of reactants and you have to do both of them. And what I'll be looking for on your PDF of your homework for this week is that you must do both of them to prove which one is the limiting reactant, right? And you'll see on the homework, it doesn't say step by step by step. It just says this. And you are expected to step through this process as far as it takes. Not all of them, in fact, um, uh, I know not all of them ask how much of the excess reactant is left over. I think most of them stop at just how many grams of silver selenide can, or the product or whatever you're making can be produced. And if that's the case, then you just have to do both of these, circle the one and input it into the learning management system for the one that is the answer. All right.